you will not be in peril in 1000 battles. He has written 122 to 1 million battles because you know yourself, you know your enemy, what better situation can there be. But however, if you just know yourself and do not know your enemies, in that case, you may uh, go on a very 50-50 kind of situation where you are losing some battle or you may be winning some battle. Then you come on to, uh, if you do not know the enemies or and even, again, along with the enemies, you don't know the enemy, you don't know yourself as well. In that case, it's a lost cause. So, strategy basically emerges from here. We'll see how it is connected. Strategy is a very, very huge, uh, is a very vast term and one cannot try and define it in a couple of sentences or words. But however, uh, an attempt has been made and I like this definition the most uh, and very close uh, to how to relate it from the military, uh, that's from where the word strategy has come, which means nothing but in Greek it is the general's office or the command post. And from uh, the military, army, how it is correlated to the corporate. So, uh, strategy is how you get to know your adversaries. Now, this is more towards like the army, army, you know, uh, how these strategies proceed in army. Adversaries in this case uh, would be our uh, enemies. I don't know, take the name in this forum over here, but of course, you know, I mean, who are the, who all are the potential enemies of neighboring countries. Uh, so, strategy is how you get to know your adversaries. For adversaries, when you translate it to the corporate, you read competition. So, adversaries are definitely not enemies in that sense of the term. Allow me a little uh, license over here, literary license and a uh, presentation PPT license over here. I'm taking that license and I'm now comparing an adversary to uh, read as competition. Your allies where you read employees and you read the client lead. Your clients are your allies, your employees are your allies, even the resources for that matter, they are your allies. So, you, uh, but you know about them well. Uh, you get to know yourself. For yourself, you need management team and the available resources and you read the terrain. In army, reading the terrain is one of the most important factors. In fact, even before we all came in, the general was giving me uh, a little dose. He happens to be a senior from the army also. When I joined the battalion, he was my applicant. Uh, much about it, you know, a cup of tea, and we discussed it calmly. I don't want to uh, diversify here and talk about uh, early days. But yes, it was about 30, 32 years back, and he gave me some dose, and today also I didn't forget to. Uh, he told me that ground is the most important way of getting at the bottom. Knowing the terrain is the most important. Do you have a change in No, 
Now this is again something which I borrowed from the army and this is where the general character me. I put ground at the back, but again I took a little license over here because it didn't rhyme with, uh, I mean it didn't go well with the acronym was going well with kept back if I put ground on the bottle. But yes, ground is the most important thing. Now, this is all about strategy actually if you look at it. When any army unit, and let me say because you have been working on it, you've done a lot of strategy on the uh, on launching divisions. He has been the general officer commanding of a division as well. So the basics remain the same. You got to attack an objective. You got to have certain uh, things in mind which you must know. And again, if you really uh, dwell on each one of these separately, you will get to relate it to even corporate scenario. That this actually works in the corporate scenario as well. So firstly, if you look at Khabar Dushman, Khabar Rahmi, you should know about the adversary, the competitors, you should know about our own self. Where are our strengths, where are our weaknesses, the typical SWOT analysis. So what we do is, we just go about in the army, uh, we as an I mean, I'm out of the army now, but again, uh, I'm just, you know, taking the liberty. Uh, this is the objective which has got to be attacked. So how many people are there, how many machine guns are there, what sections, machine guns are facing, facing which uh, direction, uh, do they have a support uh, system in place, like do they have a, a air support, do they have an artillery support, do they have any other support, you know, two inch mortar support, or what all guns are there inside this, and how many hours is the backup away from them, what is their, uh, uh, you know, administration uh, on the bus and all. So, Khabar Dushman, Khabar Apni, about oneself also you must know, you know, then you must know Irada. Irada is, what do I have to do? And Irada has to be very specific and very clearly spelled out. And overshooting the time, so I'll be a little quick. I hope you're not minding my going a little faster on my speech because I got to hand over to him this time all the way and I'm not, I can speak to you anytime. Irada is basically about your stating it very correctly. Our uh, battalion, 4.5-0430 hours per orchard pe kabza karega. Irada fir dorata and they again restate the Irada. So again it is about resetting the objectives in your own mind when you are strategizing. When you are strategizing the objective should never go out of your mind. Because then what are you strategizing about? So that mission, their irada should be very clear. Then the tarika, the methodology by which you are going to be achieving that irada. Then we go down to bandobas. Bandobas is the arrangements. Uh, uh, your ammunition. If you got to be firing 100 rounds, there are 30 people there, how many rounds, the probability aspect, you know, so many rounds will hit people at night, so many flares for lighting up at night because you want to light up the objective and uh, so many artillery guns and support to pound the objective to make it soft, you know, all those kind of things. So require that. Then of course, allies. Uh, I have, I'm an, I'm an infantry battalion. I've got a, a 106 uh, field artillery battery there supporting my company attack. Company attack support. Supported by your battery? I don't know, I don't know. But okay, whatever. Okay, then ground. Like he said again, pointed out to me rightly, ground is the most important thing. Terrain. I must know undulating, like SIR, which will be Nadi Nala, so Nanya, which is Nadi Nala cross Kandakali, I need to have a boat or I need to have some kind of a water crossing um, uh, expedient with me. So that also has to be taken into consideration. So basically, this kit bag sums up the entire uh, army strategy at least. Even at a general level like him, who is commanding a division. And um, uh, even at a strategic level of a small little business like HR Paros, where Akshara is planning uh, her objective of being a uh, top company in the human resource refinement field, the point is that each and every time you look at the skid back, you are on course. You, you are reminded of that. This is the strategy. This is the uh, basics which we do it in the army, and we probably will carry on doing. Very important game, very you know, synchronization and coordination. We used to laugh when we used to be taught about this. Yeah, yeah, we used to take over the green and anybody had used to set with that. Amara time was that it used to be that winding watches. I don't know how you set the time, you know, they are digital perhaps. So that time it used to be literally pulling out the key. Tabi Nakun Mini, it was a task, you know, pulling out the little knob. And then, very you know, then the CHM or the person used to be heading the operation used to say, you can't tell us that the Sakya Chalis would not pay RTV to go over the Bandha Janiji. RTV got a little bit better. But if this guy is <laughs> pounding you even at 10.50, 10.50 probably your own team is sitting on the objective. So he's pounding his own guys. And why? Because somebody is wearing a HMT watch and somebody is wearing a Rolex watch. So Rolex is the right guy. This uh, resynchronization has uh, thrown everything off care. And this is exactly what happened. So they took care to see, okay, I some Rolex, I have some Rolex, I have some HMT. You better take out that uh, binder. And when I come to so, बजे होंगे साढ़े पांच ten nine sorry जब मैं कहूँ जीरो ten nine zero everybody साढ़े पांच 
so that you know so this is what this is symbolic this is highly symbolic of synchronization coordination without synchronization coordination your tactics goes for six next okay now uh, knowing your adversaries i really want well into it uh, when we talk about knowing competition you should identify them shortlist them geographic and target on a client bill wise swot analysis of the competition and then come to overtake the entire competition then maintain and sustain also this will figure in strategy next um know yourself of course clarity on objectives like i told you know irada hamara irada aur irada hame hamesha mazboot hota hai uh on a self sort analysis available resources key analysis team sort analysis what are the strengths of my team uh, professor rajender is good at what uh, uh, professor bhattacharya is good at what samarth is good at what bhavya is good at what and then utilizing those strengths to go from strength to strength in our own hr power house team okay shruti is good at hr uh, jyoti is good at operations deepika is good at such and such thing and using that strength to grow from strength to strength that is what this is about team sort analysis in depth knowledge of the business plan you are know where if you are not reading your business plan daily where it is and i'm sure the senior people here at shridam also would be doing that they would be reading the business plan almost like you know a newspaper every day i was to go here today and i'm not here that's very important to certain things yes. for example it take more time but i'm sure it is quite explainable uh, by the slide itself future plan of employees and client team are they going to close shop in a couple of months couple of days am i going to be left in the lurch when i'm partnering with them so all this needs to be taken into consideration in business partners are they taking a nose dive what are their plans are their plans sound enough to go ahead uh next it talks about the cultural sensitivity it talks about the demographic geographic peculiarities it talks about future of the industry it talks about the future analysis not more knowledge of industry and trends we at hr boros trust me we spent good about uh if you talk of man hours more than 400 500 man hours just discussing which industry should hr boros really focus on and then education industry came into be one of the industries which we felt is a recession proof industry people will eat food they will get clothes they will always get it together so uh, that's the way current movies define it for comprehensive and uh, very you know coherent man is a very very important aspect of strategizing uh, percolate down to the seat critical to business and people uh, things apply vertically and horizontally across the organization it is not that i'm so sorry professor you are not here but i would have like differ with him on this that strategy is not meant for the people everybody who's working at least should be aware of what the strategy is and um, uh, when uh, This was Russia was fighting whom, sir? Russia was fighting with uh, hmm? Russia was against Polish. Polish. Okay. Now we have Hannibal. Hannibal the Polish guy. No, no, no. Okay, whatever. The Polish people were fighting the uh, these guys, and the strategy was to carry the rations along with them. And the uh, Polish army was a very sluggish army because it used to carry a lot of bandos uh, uh, with them. I mean, uh, they had to have. Uh, pairs of shoes three pairs of this the ration had to be one month ration and you know uh, i don't think it would more time but mentioning over here because why because professor party made a point that uh, it should whether it's a big debate whether it should work it but i specifically feel and i don't know whether you would like to highlight when you take the podium uh, that whether the strategy strategy should percolate down i we, i feel strongly it should percolate down because in this example the soldiers knew what to do because the general was not able to command they knew that strategy was to be a uh, nimble footed light footed and the polish army just got caught in that little goal uh, which they made for them and they pounded them like anything because they were swift they were swift so their strategy was being nimble swift self contained that was the strategy so laws rated by of the sources redundancy thrice over i mean if one plan fails many people mistake uh, uh, you know they, they make the they make the mistake of thinking that strategy is very rigid no it is not if the entire uh, i i don't generally agree with me or not but the entire the whole idea of having a strategy is that it should be flexible and you should be able to adapt to the changing situations and incorporate it it's so dynamic it keeps on changing it keeps on changing like this so we got to ensure that strategy has redundancies this fails this is there that fails that is there And you should also know how to redeploy resources. Now this is again a little cartoon which is over there. This is some strategy which the sports people thought they thought that okay the ball is over there. I am reminded of my mother uh, telling me uh, she was a typical Bengali family who had a lot of sisters and brothers and all the mixture of the Bengali sarees and all. This is the whole thing. So 
their brother used to snatch them away on a Sunday and make them the goalkeepers. Why? Because they used to stand like that with the saris there and the ball wouldn't go there. So that's a strategy. <laughs> I mean, it's a strategy at a very basic level, but it is a fantastic strategy. I mean, two girls, ladies, this young goalie girl uh, standing with the saris, you know, spread across. So who can, and they used to fight with these other guys, you know. Yeah, here, 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 probably behind all the other guys, and you know, that kind of thing. So, but that is also a strategy. Jokes aside, I mean, seriously, I, I think that uh, my mama's, uh, could have become great strategy issues had they joined the army. Okay, thanks. Uh, well, this is something which I'd like to just uh, share. It's not a, that a strategy. That a strategy par excellence. I mean, who can think of such a strategy? Such a rare became a strategy, it became a tool. In a hand. So that's what strategy is. So we are trying to talk strategy now. Strategy has been there all the time. And of course, these corporate honchos now, like the uh, late uh, Guru Bhai, Narayan Muthi and uh, Mr. Tata. So all these people over here. So it's strategy is nothing but just old wine in a new bottle. <laughs> Lot of stories to tell which I am not well upon now. I won't stand between him and um, you people. I'd just like to just say that he's a very honored senior of mine, very special to me because uh, I got commissioned the same regiment and he uh, has guided me uh, throughout and I have really benefited a lot of it. He was commissioned in 75, so that makes it uh, how many? 37 years, sir? Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh, wearing the olive greens, 37 years of wearing the olive greens. And uh, Defence Services Staff College, uh, National Defence College, very learned diplomacy and leadership. Uh, Commandant uh, Junior Leaders being Indian Army. Uh -huh. Now this is where he's uh, uh, participating with us and he's coming on board as soon as he hangs. Yeah. Choose to hang his uniform prematurely like I did about after doing 15 years in the Indian Army. I also hung my uniform being regular commissioned officers. Uh, we have to actually take permission to take leave. So I don't know whether Indian Army is going to allow him that or not. But if he ever does, Sir, I request you to be definitely involved with the project of ours, which is Junior Leadership Academy. I mean, it's the only thing is going to be Senior Leadership and Corporate. Uh, then uh, he uh, was recently the General Sir Commanding of the 11th Division, Ahmedabad. And uh, uh, currently he is with the, he is the General Officer with the uh, Rajasthan area. And uh, he is very decorated, Sena Medal for Gallantry. And uh, wishes Sena Medal for the Services, Chief of Army Staff Commendation Card for Professional uh, uh, Excellence. And uh, he has, why he is here today again is because he has done an advanced program on strategy in the USA. And not that USA can teach a strategy. Uh, Mahabharata was much before the USA was even kind of set up there, uh, as a country. So over to him and uh, please feel free to question him, whatever. So, sorry for taking so much time. Thank you. His life was wasted. And uh, I would come anytime uh, whenever I'm free. And if, I'm, uh, if I have a such glued the listeners, then I can keep telling you stories. But stories which you may, may be of help. Now, uh, first of all, thank you very much, uh, the faculty of uh, advisor. vibrant then and you just saw him, his uh, posture, his attitude, the way he spoke. That's why he's actually steering this HR powerhouse in a fantastic manner. In the last four years, um, we, we were in touch and uh, he has really brought up his uh, corporate very well. And it is more so interesting because he is involved in shaping the future of and uh, if I can uh, quote Alvin Toffler, 
Uh, if you have read his book called Third Wave, I'm sure all uh, of you guys must have read it. Uh, he says that uh, you know, the first phase of the world was, he defines power. So why I'm coming to power because behind all power there is strategy, there is some scheme, something thought process. Uh, first was brute force, physical force. And you can also say the Yuga of Kali. When that force got satiated, it, it believed in splendor, beauty, goddess Lakshmi, which he portrays it differently. He says real state was the power, then came the industry in the form of uh, you know, creating comforts in life. So he says industrial beauty. And then when the computer age has landed up, it's a knowledge-based society, which you all are involved in uh, knowledge processing and source and KPOs. Uh, here, how could India not come back to? Uh, because the normal DNA of all Indians, and especially people from Bengal and people from South India, uh, they are differently engineered by the world. They have so much agreement. So, the whole power is shifting to Southeast Asia. Now, it is only proper that each citizen in our country uh, is aware as to what our strengths are, the sort of answers that you are saying, and how we go ahead from here retaining this power. Uh, so, you know, Ganesha is uh, one of the buddies, Saraswati and Lakshmi is on the other side. So you have Ganesha installed there, but you must have Saraswati also uh, a recommendation to Sri Ram. If you do your job well, there is no way that you will not progress in your life. So first and foremost, to actualize any strategy, first you've got to see it within yourself. What are you? Where are you? What is it that you want? Everybody is born selfish. Everybody is born with that subtle sense of fear in him that he may not perish away tomorrow, he may not die tomorrow. The intrinsic innate quality that God has given all of us is first thing is fear. And why fear? Because you have been detached from all that Almighty. So I'm not taking you on a spiritual page, please. But I'm just trying to highlight the importance of strategy, which uh, Abdul brought out. Know, they lost it through. But you want to, you have to understand what lies behind working on self. Is your real self? Is your self real self? Uh, you have been detached from that super power, super nature of the guy who was. So you feel scared. When you go out of your house, you are scared and your father is scared. Especially the girl. If you don't get back by 9, 10, 10, can't get you. This is not working. Don't you think your parents do question? Now these are the intrinsic fear. Okay. If that is to be removed, then you've got to work towards that. Okay. Now I am supposed to be talking to you about military strategy, but I've given you the basic name. Uh, strategy is namely walk of life. Now, at various level it also has a knowledge. What Atul was talking to you, in army we actually call it tactics. At the executive uh, level, the guy who executes things, he is also supposed to be very clear what the aim is or what the vision is. The Irada that he was telling you is that everybody is clear. If a, he, was, he was giving the example of a company going in for attack and that objective is to be captured. All 120 chaps know exactly who will get go on that objective, where will they be deployed. It may be pitch dark line. But let me tell you, if the guys have been briefed clearly, they have been rehearsed properly, they will go to their place. They don't have to make these night vision goggles with the, the IT as much as in the uh, Western movies. They are technology aided. That's why they are not actually uh, victors all over. But now they must have destroyed. But have they captured the Iraq? There's still a lot of that. Iraqi people are too big to be captured by the American a few of you. Have they made any dent in Afghanistan? But when it comes to uh, the Indian Army, I'm not trying to go by trumpet of the army. 
But we went into Pakistan, uh, Bangladesh, we captured and moved on. Uh, there was a need for an application of military force, it was done, came back. This, the concept of the vision that Field Marshal Manik Shaw had seen, that was done. What Indira Gandhi told him was the grand step. Nations have grand step. They say, we have problems on the eastern border. So many refugees inside our country. Uh, we can't support them. There's a problem on the western front, Pakistan. Chinese are no good uh, friends. Now, we have to do something. So then, my show made it into strategy that is and practical which army can institute. So he held on the Chinese with a very minimal cost. He shook the Western Front a little bit and then went full hawk in the Bangladesh, East Pakistan. That's it. Now this was the strategy. In Bangladesh we applied this for four divisions. You know, when we showed you my well, that, 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 division. Um, that division uh, consists of about uh, 20 odd thousand men. We just applied four, four divisions and we captured Bangladesh. Now, this execution that was being done, that part of strategy is called tactics. So, certainly, the example that we gave you was of tactical. Now, essentials of uh, you know, uh, I could uh, give you the military. Why this mix of military and corporate? There are any number of uh, authors who have written uh, plethora of uh, you know, thick books on uh, corporate strategies. Uh, deep blue sea strategy, or you know, there are any any number of them. Even uh, Alvin Toffler's books are that only. Uh, it really tries to uh, mesh that, you know, um, uh, military strategy is one, which is the oldest. It has got, it is the repository of all kinds of thought process that can be put behind uh, for any uh, mission completion in any field, including corporate. You, the Yankees are very smart. What they do is, they keep finding new words. The kind of uh, visual statements, with, uh, strategies that have been enumerated in Mao, all have not been repeated as yet in uh, the wars that we have fought. And they say that we have almost fought over uh, one million wars on the globe till now. And they are yet to apply those shuttle things uh, which has been enunciated in Mao. I mean,
is no longer there. We are stronger than the other one. Women are the complete human creation. I hope you are aware of it. You have X and X chromosome, whereas we males have just X and Y. So we are little deficient on completeness. But what I am trying to say is that when man started living in a group, society was formed, leaders have and he was interested in that they had a voting and you know, uh, Pranamda became the president. It is not so. There used to be fights. Now, how they used to fight? Now, everything since then was a question of survival and fighting. Therefore, each kind of events and incidences have taken place. Corporate is doing nothing new. You may bring in new words, you know, a new philosophy, and things like that. But it is, it is all enshrined in the army. army um, the strategy of the army, military, is enshrined with all the uh, uh, events of corporate. So if you master this willingly, you will be Ratan Tata. Ratan Tata also grew up in that family as their master. Like Indira Gandhi, she grew up in the political family. She used to listen to these legal cases sitting in the lap of Motila Gandhi. But actually, she was the best uh, scheming. Uh, Prime Minister that India has had. Now, if there is a need to see what are the things that you need to, at a very um, you know, strategy, there is a subject on which people have written books, so you can't be, you know, told everything in uh, uh, such a short time. But I'll go on seven essentials of a strategy uh, which you must uh, keep at the back. But, you know, believe me, I have already told you, you must know yourself, you must know your strength. The first thing is mission statement, which, uh, you know, in one of the things, uh, Atul brought up, Kirala, whether it is corporate, whether it is digital, your mission should be absolutely clear. There are ways and means to um, identify them. Mission always is extracted from the environment that you are Okay, HR problems. Uh, it is working towards a particular thing in the education industry. Uh, see the competition of the environment as far as education is concerned. What are the needs of education? Uh, what people, why people are getting educated or studying? Uh, to do what, when he analyzes, and then he works out his business statement that, you know, HR powerhouse being the number one human resource uh, development uh, unit in the country, or the corporate unit. When he does that, then what happens? It is based on certain factors. The mission should always be, as he brought up also, must be absolutely clear. In the army, we uh, actually we have a set of grey matter, isn't it? We use our arms more. We rely on <coughs> brown, then brain. Uh, so everything is driven by way of the kidney for the development. For you can say Diwal is up. And for our product technically they wear helmet also. So any knowledge that you want to put in say, it, it goes in with very difficult. Uh, so we make acronyms. So vision should be A, B, C. Accurate, brief, and clear at whichever level you are. And it should be sustainable. If it is to be sustainable, first it should be in your vision always. It's something like uh, uh, after here uh, you would like to go home. Sometimes you must be going back home after uh, dark. So when you get inside your car, you switch on your light. It falls just for 50 30 meters. But in the mind side, it's quite clear that you are going to go your home or to your house and you know the route. So if the computer which is already working and your hands will automatically turn on the roads and turns and in the last 50 meters possibly your head light will be falling on your uh, house. But mission was clear also. You know when he was attacking that feature, the growth that he showed you, all soldiers may not be seeing that. But it has been repetitively told to them so many times that grove is there. On the left hand there are only two mango trees. 
On the right side, there is one lemon tree which is my cartel. You know, it becomes so clear that they go for it. Similarly, your message should be absolutely true. Now, you might have done a hundred uh, plans. And in the army, we say, enemy will come out with the hundred first contingency. So, a very important thing is called contingency plan. Whenever you actually plan, you know, it's like, uh, okay, you have a, you have a question? No. Okay. So, when you get one, sometimes you like to meet him, right? Off of his bars. Your parents are looking. Then you start working out on plan. Okay, my okay. That is my traditional. I can tell. Okay, my bike is okay. Sorry, the road takes this much of time. Okay, let's fix up that uh, restaurant. Okay, KFC here or whatever. Okay. <laughs> now, even that is is absolutely clear, and you get in touch with that inner uh, self of yours, and it. He is recorded, it is guiding you. This is what actually implies, uh, but in between there will be one senior close faculty in Sedona. No, 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 or somebody else has to be told to go, no, I have not reached at 6, 15 or whatever. So these are conveniences. The flexibility, which he also brought up, is very important in maintenance of your work. Therefore, corporate, when the board meetings take place, I know I had the privilege of staying with Sri Mahatma Mantra a couple of times. When he retired, he was in the board of governance of almost uh, a dozen uh, corporate houses, including the Tata and all. And uh, he used to, you know, board chairs used to be in one of them I was sitting, it was uh, Tata team. Uh, you know, this has happened, the laborers are going on, uh, going on strike and the production will come down, factory will close. So he simply used to say, haven't you worked on a contingency plan? He had, but this is, you know, the chaps are going in mass. So, no, before the first or second voice of dissent you had heard, you should have put your contingency plan. Uh, and contingency plan is not when your uh, whole plan has gone for a six, then you implement. No, these are those short term corrections. So, review of your aim at a periodic interval, sometimes by specialists, as they call it, strategists and other people. More corporate chaps also say. Strategists must review your plan, that is, uh, your um, corporate plan, once in a while. And it must be done. Like government also does, auditors, you know, expenditure audit. Because they don't want that all money is taken by only Mulanji. You know, you understand? Success to come your way. That is a, because that is why you have started as your plans. It is important that you marshal your resources. If I have to say capture Rahul Pindi or say for that matter Lahore, and my division has been tasked. Now, Lahore is as big city as uh, almost uh, half the size of Delhi. No, he said, Khabar Dushman ke baare mein. No, Same thing at some level, uh, in some quantity, is planned at every place. Like in your case, it was that some Fadus uh, faculty, he, he is to be analyzed. I mean, he is not your enemy, but what I am trying to say, that these imponderables have to be thought of. And if, when you think of that, you will always, like you say, no, this is to me. Mummy ka bahana de ke ke nikal jao ke aankh na aasko aasak ta hai ok thoda sa wo le rakha what is actresses used there? Glistress 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 Incidentally you know Prakash Shah is my good friend 
we studied in the same school. He was two years ahead to me. Uh, so in one of his, uh, there was a movie, old movie called Damu, for which he got the uh, national award for best director in this one. Usme, uh, actress was uh, Dipti Nawal. Usko rolaan tha and she was a very happy girl. And shoot ke liye set was ready. So he came and put a foot to the place in action. He lagaya. Put a foot in the floor. Nega scene. What I'm trying to say is contingency plan is very important. And uh, whether you are in corporate working for somebody or you working for yourself, uh, inculcate this. In the end, I may I would like to share with you uh, certain things because unless you improve, your corporate can do anything. Corporate cannot do. How important a soldier is for me is uh, uh, I can't tell you. If I if I get a assignment to capture like I'm telling you, capture uh, Lahore, there is no way that any soldier I would like to leave them behind or he's not with me, fully aware of the uh, task. Ahead. You should be fully aware of your resources. Marshal those resources, analyze them, and thereafter we call something or close to task. Like Atul was always a very vibrant guy. We had a commando in Atul. So invariably the task of any commando nation is to go with uh, Because he was made that way. He ideally suited for that kind of role. He doesn't bat an eye going behind the enemy. You know? If that can how are the militants of Pakistan trained and operating in jail? They have gone behind the border, behind where our troops are deployed. At night they are infiltrated and then come uh, and mix with the civilians. Now you, there are, everybody can't do it. You have to identify this guy is made. I was made to sit in the chair and pass orders. <laughs> okay, you know, after some time, you do get those things. So that was one. Then, uh, for any where to be in competition, you know, guys who are ahead are only in competition. Not the guys who are following are behind. I remember Dhirubhai uh, Ambani's son making one statement in one of the places he had come. And it really hit me. Uh, one used to follow that, not that one uh, doesn't know. Uh, but uh, it was very correct statement. Beaten track is for beaten people. That means if you do the same thing every day and then expect that some new result will come, so the only place is, uh, for you to go is uh, some psychiatric ward, isn't it? So every day you come to KPU, sit down, Girls, and boys also started forming these days. And uh, do your work that has been assigned. And you think one day you become the CEO of that uh, uh, corporate way of working. Not possible. Right? So you got to do out of box thinking. And once you get into that habit, do it from right from uh, at home. Newlywed guys, you take your normal. Uh, send off from your wife and just go one round and come back and say today I finished my work. See the happiness on her face? She will hug you. And then you say no I just wanted to give you a surprise I'm doing. Now what I'm trying to say is surprise is one factor which is more uh, applied in the army's uh, operations but it is much more successful in the love world, in the social world. You know I am from a uh, Brahmin Maithil family in Bihar. Uh, we keep discussing with Bengalis like Mr. Chitaj that we are a superior people, then you and they say that just keep quiet. We know where you stand. We have a lot of these discussions. They ask is a very conservative uh, uh, society. So when I got married, I got married to a person, uh, also a Maithil. I want to tell you, out of class, I was uh, both are but very rare. But the point is, she taught me how to give surprises to your uh, near and dear ones. And every
every birthday after that that I have celebrated has been a joy. I remember each one. Now don't ask me how long back I got now. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, surprise you must keep. And indicatively, because it's very uncertain. When you are sure of a thing, you are confident. When you are not sure of your thing, uh, there, there is diffidence in you. So I said, why me? He says, you are the best in the industry. I said, yeah, I like that. When work has come your way, you are putting me for <laughs> Anyway, but when they say, you have to go in the army, you have to go. So when I went there, uh, I was a last, 15 last year, I think. Because I just had to go. Okay, uh, people were not uniformly dressed also. You see, army is known for its uniform and dress. Uh, they used to wear scarves, you know, woolen. Winter may monkey tear and cap lagake, which is, we say that BSA wale karte honge, ya police ke dress me. Fauji, in, a, in the high altitude where snow, it is snowing, and you're not supposed to cover your ear. You know, cap is supposed to be open, but ears are supposed to be open. So, I was aghast. My own battalion, in which we both were uh, commissioned, uh, had a different uh, discipline state in that. So, uh, I took a <coughs> SWOT analysis, as you say, or we, in our this thing, we say uh, self-analysis. You know? uh, and I had my company commanders, and they will not give you anything. When a new chap comes to an organization, he is tested, tried, and then possibly accepted. So they will not come out with anything. But then army, actually, the moment you take responsibility, it gives you a lot of authority also. Whereas in the civil world, corporate world, it's quite difficult to assume authority uh, while it may come to you. Uh, but uh, uh, responsibility, uh, you generally, uh, Support may not come, you have to earn it. So it is first in there. So, you know, you started using, uh, we call a stick and carrot in the fist. And uh, then a mission statement was brought up. And we said, well, this battalion is going to be the number one battalion of the Northern Command, which is in the Jammu and Kashmir area. And this will be declared the best battalion by the year. And I had to remember. Now, if that is so, what could be, what is to be done? Discipline is one aspect, operational efficiency is other, administration is other, all those things are relevant and slowly pushed. Now, whenever you are dealing with humans, one man's meat is other man's body. You think you are very good in offering Rasulullah uh, to somebody. And the person next to him, I got everything. And you say, in India, I see you, okay, I say, Chota, I should visit there. I say, okay, don't you know that I got everything? You know, so you got to handle each one of them separately. In the army, that is a little bit, you know, uh, sorted out because you make them wear one dress, make them carry, they all carry the same weapon. As they are meant to obey certain regimental command, Tata, Vishra, Upegata, Dilak, Kham, Kana, Vakam, Toh, Vidal, Tata. And this time, but it's not over easy also when it comes to very close sentence. Therefore, uh, I implemented certain things and uh, tell you that at the end of the year, uh, Chief came down to handle the uh, rise to the plan. Uh, we had maximum, we had, we had eliminated maximum terrorists in that area. Uh, there was among and you know, locals that uh, started engineering the army. So, what I'm trying to say is, if you don't do that, uh, you will not get the direction to move. Now, whatever you do, you all deal with the economy of efforts when we say, basically you uh, put in um, that proprietor ka ya the to be uh, CEO ka kam se kam paisa lagna chahi, otherwise he will throw you out. We economize on human lives. If a job has to be done 
and you know that in case of 10 people, it will go. But if you come up with some other plan, where only two or one life goes, then you adopt that one. Why should you lose nine more lives? Now, the seriousness with which we will think is certainly more than what you, that's what you call it, but that life won't come up. Therefore, economy of resources and efforts must always be gone into. And when you go into that, your vision will get dictated accordingly. And strategy will emerge. You know, strategy is a vision statement, but plan of action will emerge uh, in our uh, favor. And last but not the least, um, I feel that when you uh, have a very happy team going with you, uh, no job is difficult. Um, I was taking a class at the junior leaders, and one of these young officers had said, you know, team is an acronym. Uh, so, do I knew, but I said, no, no, I don't know. So it's together everyone achieves more. And, you know, since it came from him, he became a hero. And at no point would he ever refuse any task. But before that, he was fed up with much. Any job you give him, so, you know, in the team building, it is very important to identify the characters, treat each one of them separately. And there are basic norms, which we also practice, I'm sure you all also doing, that always praise a guy in person and give him back in the office or somewhere when nobody is seeing him. Uh, these are uh, the things that will keep the morale of the uh, team uh, focused. You know, he will go back home and think of the problem. He, he will be taking job, not li literally on the computer, but at home and his mind will be working towards the corporate uh, uh, enhancement or the job uh, uh, accomplishment. So, uh, in the end, I can only tell you, this one quote is there, uh, success to corporate is when I related to army thing. Again, Sun Tzu is a great guy. There's another chap called uh, Prozves of the German Prussian army. From my there are any number of generals in the Second World War before that. Hannibal he was quoting. Hannibal's story is that he was to attack Italy uh, from uh, the African coast. They had boats. But he wanted to take elephant across because that was the only weapon that he could use against the mighty cavalry of the Greeks. So he went skirting to Gibraltar, came across through the Alps, then attacked. So that was a, a military genius in those days. Uh, similarly, uh, the Sunju says, victorious warriors go to war. Uh, they win the war first, then they go to war. That means it's all mind game. And they defeated, hey, first go to war and then, you know, try to win. Any job that you get, let me tell you, generally, as a norm, you must give 60 to 70% time preparing. And in 30% also, uh, you may not be able to actually apply that much of time and energy and your job is succeed. There's a famous book called Eat the Frog. I've forgotten the name of the author. If you can read that, uh, it's a generally human tendency is to list out and the easy And you leave the difficult one for the end. But uh, my suggestion and that book also suggests, always eat the most difficult, uh, try the work which is most difficult. Once you handle that, others possibly falls in place or you will require much less time. Uh, exams may we always do to pelable school control and bad with it you get stuck and you don't even get the passing score. But uh, always remember, uh, like I told you in the end, I just give you a share a tip with you. Uh, if you can manage yourself, if you strategize your life things will fall in place. I'll
support this chap Prakash Jagra. You know, he also <coughs> dared to come into politics and fought election and lost. He had signposted his life. At the age of 16, he will run away from the school. So, wonder when did he plan about his life? It was before that. So, at uh, 16, he had done his uh, higher secondary. Competed in National Defense Academy where I went, but he ran away. He understood that if he goes into the army, it will be regimented life, his thinking, thinking faculty would be stunted. Um, he would not get the pleasures that life offers to people. So he ran and came and took uh, admission in St. Stephen's. Uh, he did not complete his graduation because it was not working out. Well, he was a he had a creative mind, so he joined FTI Pune. He uh, topped the editing course there, and it's a different world in Bombay. Nobody just takes you, okay, start mov making movies. Okay, job doesn't come by so easily those days. 